This is now a word that in fact is coming in from the IDF or the Israel Defense Forces who in fact have now gone on to say that Hamas has transformed an institute of knowledge into an institute of destruction. Just a short while ago, the IDF in fact struck an important Hamas operational political and military center and this was situated in Gaza. This was the Islamic University. So that counter retaliation or the hit back by the IDF or the Israeli Defense Forces now only escalating. Many of them now sounding confident that they've managed to destroy key targets as far as the Hamas militants are concerned. This is day five of the conflict that was started on Saturday when we saw the surprise invasion by Hamas militants into Israel. Let's also now bring in our colleague Siddhant who's joining us on the broadcast. Siddhant, as you've also been pointing out that this retaliation or hit back by the IDF has gained a lot of momentum over the last 24 to 48 hours. Could you talk to our viewers about the key targets of Hamas militants that now stand destroyed by the IDF? Yes, that's right. So, look, there are multiple targets and perhaps, uh, you know, there is a plan in place with IDF and working on, on that plan only, these bombings are taking place. So, A, they have turned the border area with Gaza Strip uh, into an iron wall by placing heavy armored vehicles and tanks on, uh, on, the border, uh, on the border areas. Then the porous borders have completely been sealed. The area have already been taken over by Israel. The Palestinian Hamas militants have been killed. They have been neutralized. Now, the IDF forces are going after the political uh, wing of Hamas. Their offices, their residences are being targeted. al Fukran area, which is believed to be the hub, the, the center of Hamas operations, uh, have, have, has, uh, have been bombarded last night. Then there are some places in Lebanon which are which are being uh, bombarded because the missiles are being fired uh, from that side to uh, Israel. Then there is going to be the foot operations also which Israel is going to uh, carry out. And also remember, the blockade is in place. The government in Gaza is calling for an international intervention to stop Israel. Israel's air strike because they are running out of fuel, they are running out of electricity, water, and all the basic amenities. So situation is bad in the Gaza Strip, but Israel uh, is is uh, is adamant and perhaps uh, is committed to end Hamas once and for all. And Sadan, this is the word that has come in from the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu also, who said that it was not us who started this war, but it will be Israel who in fact will end this war. A short while ago, you spoke about the humanitarian crisis that also continues to play out in Gaza. In fact, a short while ago, we did see a word coming in from the Gaza government who pleaded for the international community for Israel to stop their retaliation. Now, they're saying that if you look at our key power plants, we just don't have the fuel to keep going. Talk to us about the kind of humanitarian crisis challenges that continue to play out for people on the ground yes look uh, you know Gaza has two ways for the supplies one is through Egypt and the other way is through Israel now both uh, both the uh, both the routes are are used uh, to uh, to to uh, for the supplies to Gaza now Israel has warned Egypt not to send trucks of supplies to Gaza or else Israel is going to bomb those trucks. In fact, uh, there were reports of some Israeli operations in the Rafa area, which is a which is a kind of a buffer area between Gaza and Egypt. On the other end, Israel has stopped from its own borders. As I mentioned before, that it's been turned into a Israeli wall by placing heavy armed uh, tanks on the border. So you know the idea is to complete choke off or uh, perhaps completely finish Hamas once and for all. And also, uh, I mean, uh, Israel is backed by the support from the Western world. You know, each one of them, from UK to France to Germany to America, you okay. know, they all are yeah. calling Hamas, uh, Hamas as a terrorist organization. They're all saying okay. that what Hamas does is use women, children living in Gaza as a human shield each time around. So now this time, that messaging and that uh, support is also with Israel. 
uh, and that is perhaps the reason that Israel is going ahead with the counter offensive. Okay, so that we will have to leave that conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details. We'll keep tracking all these developments and a lot more. For now, we do have to slip into a very short break.